Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Louis here. We are for three days in Zermatt. We have a packed itinerary. We're going to show you, of course, the Matterhorn. We're going to go to the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise, the Gornograt Five Lakes hike and more. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So when you arrive in Zermatt by train, you're going to be right in the heart of the village. And there's so many shops and restaurants and cafes and things to explore. As you can see, it's very, very lively. I would definitely recommend spending a couple of hours here. My recommendation that was not to do it on Sunday because the shops will be closed, the restaurants will be open. But we're here on a Friday and we're just going to walk around, explore and show you some things we like in the village. you'll have some of these beautiful chalets and even if you go actually in different streets you'll have a very nice time so we just arrived in Zermatt and we left our luggage with mm -hmm. the Riffel Alp super easy yes resort there was someone waiting for us yep. left the luggage we are free and then uh, we are going to go now to Sonega and have a little lunch at Chevroni I've always wanted to go <laughs> there <laughs> never worked out so touching wood uh, right now but uh, let's go up to Sonega and show you what there is to do over there. So we are going to Sonega. We are taking that funicula. It runs every five minutes I think. We are going really in the mountain here. Then up there we're going to walk. You can do the five lakes hike from here as well taking the funicula to Sonega then Blauhod and then going back down to Sonega. So from Sonega, you can do the Five Lakes hike. This is one of our favorite hikes in Switzerland. You are going to go through five different lakes. The best one is the first one, the Stelisee. Of course, then you have a few other lakes. And otherwise, from Sonega, you can also walk to Chevroni, which is a nice sort of 25 minutes walk that we are going to do to have a delicious meal. So you have a lot of different activities in here, and we're going to show you uh, now our hike to Chevroni. And this is the view from Sonega. We can see over there the little Matterhorn and over there is the Gornograt. And uh, we are going to do all of this during that stay. So we're continuing down to shave Pony. If you don't have a stroller, this would be much easier. This is like sort of stroller accessible, sort of. But it's definitely an easy hike. If you have a Louie, it's stroller accessible. You can spot it. I spotted it. There's a little mama there. Yeah. And this is what you hear. Oh, yeah, two. So we are going to go to Chevroni. This is one of the best restaurants in Zermatt. It's a little bit of a walk. It's about 20 minutes to walk down, maybe 30 minutes to walk back up. It's really, really worth it. It's an amazing food and with a beautiful view. Look at this. which is right across from the station in Zermatt. And we'll get to know this very well because our hotel is actually up the mountain. It's the Riffel Alp Resort. So we go up, not all the way to the corner route, but we do go up with this train. It comes every 24 minutes until 424 and then every hour. So we're gonna head up now and check out our resort. And this is the Gornograt train. An amazing view. I love this train for the view the whole time, but we're just going to go to our Riffel Alp Resort to start the way. And the train arrives just at the other train. So we arrive with our tiny train after the Gornagrat and uh, here we are in our Riffel Alp resort and our daughter is very happy. Headed to the pool and it's closing at 8 I think. Look at this. Very fancy little slippers. 
this. Our daughter received the cutest oh, thing, actually. We love it. So cute. Yeah. Such a nice little but touch. It's a great vibe, actually. And uh, yeah. let's show you the swimming pool. Louis and our baby are about to go in. This is the highest outdoor pool in Europe. And dare I say, it's the pool with the best view. Al Bosco is right across the street, <laughs> oh, train tracks, and you can see that the Matterhorn is now done with hide and seek. Also a potato. <laughs> Incredible. And now we are, look at this, this is gold, oh. this is, this is amazing actually. This is crispy, this is what you have at the end of the fondue. Mm. And the phone was amazing too. I loved it. And another sunrise in uh, the light. Is that the uh, usual pink? So from the train station of Zermatt or the Gornograd train to the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise, it's about 20 minutes walk to go to the gondola. You can walk, you can take a bus. It doesn't run that often. So we're just gonna walk and explore beautiful Zermatt a little bit more. So you can walk either by the water here. This is uh, the least elevation you'll have, or you can go in the village and then walk back down. This is yeah about a 15, 20 minutes walk to go to the gondola station. You can also take a taxi like this one, but here you go, we go there and then it will be over there to take our gondola. And here it is, the station to go to the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise. It was probably 15 minutes, not that much. And now we are facing the glaciers. And this is the gondola for the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise. So I made it to the top of Glacier Paradise. It is 3,883 meters. That is the highest station you can get to in Europe. So if you're thinking, that sounds higher than the top of Europe, it is by 400 meters. So this is the highest I have ever been. It is cold, I'm out of breath. So pack layers, take your time. If you have kids, this altitude is probably not the best. I'm flying solo right now, Louis with our daughter down in more comfortable altitudes. You can definitely feel it, but Let's go see what there is to explore up in Glacier Paradise. July and I'm wearing a cashmere sweater and a denim jacket and I am absolutely freezing up in Glacier Palace so definitely definitely bring layers because you'll need them it's okay you can see my nose is red just super super cold
I am in Trockenersteg with our baby and we feel like it's a little high up <laughs> to go to the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise. This is the highest thing in Europe, I think, 3,800 meters. But I'm going to walk there next to the station because it feels like you're in the moon in here and I wanted to share this with you. So I'll let Alexis enjoy the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise and I'll take you into my hike. And five minutes in our hike, you have like such an interesting landscape that's like desert with the Matterhorn that is still playing hide and seek here. I'm sure we're going to see it at some point. And Alexis going up there. And we can see, yes, <laughs> the Matterhorn now. So arrived at Schwarzsee, which is one of the stops where you can still see Zermatt. You see the little Matterhorn. The big Matterhorn is showing its face a little bit more and we're going to go over there. And this is the Schwarzsee with the view on the Matterhorn here. And from Schwarzsee, you have one of the best views, kind of. You have the Gornograd over there, you see Sonega, you see the Riffelalp Resort here, and then you have the glacier, the beautiful little Matterhorn, and of course the Matterhorn. And we're going to eat at that uh, mountain restaurant. It's sunny and it's, uh, it's pretty nice, so let's go eat. Back reunited, I met Louis at Schwarze. Yes. We're having a celebratory drink, yeah. drink with the metal on here. Yeah. Cheers. So we arrived back in Zermatt and we see these very cute goats and uh, they're also offering to let people try Alphorn, which is fun. And we are going to go upstream for about 10, 15 minutes and go see the Gorner Gorge. There you go, Gorner Gorge. You can see that it might be interesting. <laughs> it's like five minutes uphill and then you have that little tickets office. We can always stay a little longer we don't have a plan Just let me live a little younger Than I really am We've got nothing here to save us Save us all. So I think it's definitely worth the price Especially just after the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise Especially if you have maybe the Matterhorn that is hiding also You don't really try to see the Matterhorn This is mostly the gorge and the canyon so Definitely cool. Maybe good to try the little hike after, but I liked it already. So on the way back, we are walking down the river. It also works perfectly. So you have these two paths to go to Zermatt. Good morning, everyone. I think the last thing we showed you last night was the Gorner Gorge, and then we just headed back to our hotel, had some room service, and had a night in. We just chilled. Now we're having a little bit of breakfast in the hotel and getting ready because today, our last day here, we're gonna go to the Gornergrat. So we're gonna see some of the stops on the way up and of course head all the way to the top at about 3000 meters. So let's go. at Rodenboden because you have already some fantastic views on the glaciers look at that and of course on the Matterhorn we're going to hike down and up to the Riffelsee which is really a nice uh, lake and then we'll go further up to the Gornergrat all right let's go The beautiful Riffelsee. If it wasn't windy, you'd see the reflection of the Matterhorn, but even so, it's just absolutely amazing. So we walked down mid afternoon on the weekend, and you can see this is kind of the amount of people that you can expect. It's not super, super busy, but there are people here. 
However, now on Sundays, they have a sunrise train and that you will have a beautiful sky. The Matterhorn gets like a golden color on the top piece of it during sunrise and then you'll have very, very few people. So that's if you really want to enjoy this kind of to yourself. So if you want to be a more efficient traveler than what we are, we've kind of been doing one major activity a day because we're traveling with the 15th month old. She has to take naps and things like that. And we're just going a little bit slower but if you're only here for a few days and you really want to see as much as you can, you could take a gondola from Riefelberg that's on the Gornegrat line to Furi, and that's on the line that goes up to Glacier Paradise. So you don't need to go all the way down to Zermatt and then all the way back up from Zermatt. You can kind of connect the intermediary stations between those two. So that saves a lot of time and that's good if you want to do Glacier Paradise and Gornegrat in the same day. So if you want to do two of those cool peaks back to back. And? From Rotenboden, there is the train. So we are at 3,000 meters, more than 10,000 feet. The view is 360 and it's just amazing. You also have a multimedia thing, the Zoom, the Matterhorn, that we're going to show you in a bit. But for me, the best part is just exploring the view. You have a restaurant, even have a hotel, but look at these glaciers. And you can actually see much more the contrast, seeing the glaciers compared to when you come in the winter because there's much less snow. And you have a little walk up to have that 360 view on the, the whole region. Let's show you this. So you can feel that you are in altitude here. It's 3,000 meters. And from the top, you really have the best view on these glaciers. So here I'm really on the top of the Gornograt. You can see so many peaks. Of course, you have the Matterhorn here, but you also have the Dent Blanche and the Weisshorn here, I think. And of course, behind me in here, you have the Dufourspitze, which is the highest mountain in Switzerland, 4,600 meters and 34, I think. And, uh, and just so many glaciers. So I'm right in front of Zoom, the Matterhorn, which is an all new immersive VR experience. You might think that you need to buy a separate ticket, but if you have a ticket that goes all the way up to the Gornegrat, it's included. So make sure not to miss out on this. This is a really cool virtual experience. You see really nice movie before, and then you sit in hanging chairs and you have a VR experience like you're paragliding over the Matterhorn. So you're not gonna paraglide, you're not into that level of adrenaline, but you wanna feel like you are. This is a really good opportunity to do it. So let's go in and check it out. All right, this was great. I really recommend it. Especially now, even with that VR experience that is uh, included, that's really cool. All right, thank you so much for watching. This was a blast. We have, if you're interested, a five days itinerary guide from Zermatt. I wrote the whole thing and you have a lot of details about Zermatt if you are interested in it, it's on our website. But this is it for us, guys. We'll leave you here and see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.